welcome to another episode of In Like Sin. And this week, I am going to take you down a little rabbit hole I call Sundance. The Sundance Film Festival is held every January in Park City, Utah. If you have never been and you are a filmmaker, you are interested in the film industry, the Sundance Film Festival is very energetic and it's amazing fun. Cruising down Main Street and like you're interested in seeing movies that have just been conceptualized by a filmmaker, they're being brought to market. They are looking for a distributor to put these films out on mass to get out to everybody. Sundance Survival Guide 2015. So Sundance this year is January 22nd to February 1st. So there are people who are already descending on Park City as we speak. Okay, let's talk about the practicalities of Sundance. Let's talk about money issues. I say as a guideline, you should have $800 in your pocket, but that depends on how much booze you drink and how crazy you are. Your airfare, uh -huh. your lodging. When it comes to lodging, a couch will do. I'm telling you, there's so much to do, like, 24-7, you're gonna be out on the town, you're gonna be out of that little hovel, like, but, you know, if you're, like, renting a couch and they've got, like, a jacuzzi, that's a, that, I'd take that one, you know what I mean? But there are sometimes there are things that you don't take into consideration, like, you're flying in Salt Lake City, And then you have to take a shuttle all the way up to Park City, which is like 40 minutes away. It's like a really beautiful ride. You're gonna end up in a van with a bunch of other people who are going to do what you're doing. Network with the people in the van. And I would encourage you, if you haven't pre-arranged your shuttle, pre-arrange your shuttle. And that's two shuttle rides, okay? Then we have the food and drinks category. What are you gonna eat and drink at Sundance? Okay, you are in Utah. And like these Mormons, it's like to control who's drinking what, drinking what. So like in order to like drink in a bar, you have to get on, you have to be sponsored. Drinking in Utah is a very strange animal. You gotta get yourself accustomed to this. You cannot just walk into any grocery store and buy some wine. The cool thing is, is at Sundance, they've made that all easier and set up so that you the waitress who's serving you can sponsor you. Like, you don't need... I mean, the Mormons are probably still going to look at your name on a list sometime because they're checking that list out. Like, all of you, there's like 3%. You go to Albertsons and you're like, hey, let's get some Bud Light. That is not like your regular Bud Light. This is the light, light Bud Light. Like, every beer is like lesser alcohol. Like, read up about Utah alcohol rules. They have everything set up for sun dancers, so you're gonna be able to get sponsored by your waitress. So you're gonna be able to drink right there. So don't panic about that. But you can't get wine at Albertsons. You can't get wine. It, it, you have to go to this little wine shop. It's down this little back alley, like down behind Main Street, and you gotta go way down there to get the wine, okay? Bring the wine with you. You can fly with the wine. Put it in your suitcase, just like, Make sure it's in a Ziploc so it doesn't fuck all your clothes up, you know? Like, oh, I'm gonna buy some and stock it up in my room and just drink that. You're not gonna drink in your room. You're not gonna drink in your room. You're gonna be out in the parties. You're gonna be out of Sundance. You're gonna be seeing a movie. You're gonna be at a panel. You're gonna be filmmakers lodge. You're gonna be like running around on these buses and shuttles that are gonna take you all around the city. And you are going to be meeting filmmakers and you are going to be seeing movies. That is what Sundance is all about. So like, the other thing like, you have to build into your budget is the fact that it's cold and you finish an event at 2 a.m. and you, where you live is like up like 800 flights of stairs. And you take a taxi, all right? So you're going to be taking taxis. Now there's another element that not everybody builds into their budget at Sundance, but there are a lot of people doing drugs at Sundance. And if you... Plan to do drugs at Sundance, then you better find a hookup and you better build that cost into your budget, okay? I'm not advocating, this is not advocation. I've been to Sundance and I've seen, I've been, oh, I've been, I saw a mound of cocaine like shaped like a Matterhorn with goats and shit on it. What to pack? What do we pack? What do I pack to 
go to Sundance. Here's what you pack, okay? You didn't need a good coat. It's fucking cold up there, okay? It's cold. You need a winter coat. LA people, a winter coat. No, a winter coat, okay? You're gonna be going inside, and then you're gonna be going outside, and then you're gonna be going inside, outside, and stuff. It's like that type of environment. You're in the hot shuttle, and then you're out in the cold. Ah! You know, like you feel normal, and then you're, okay, yeah, everybody knows this cold weather, unless you live under a rock, like people understand how to deal with cold weather. So you need hats, you need gloves, you need scarves, and you need, like the wind gets bad. There's a lot of people when they go to Sundance, they plan a dual trip, and they also go skiing, okay? This is an Olympic ski area that you're going to be entering. So so think like just like you're going skiing, cause that you're fucking going skiing. You're going skiing. I mean, it's like, they actually have like a bobsled run, an official like Olympic bobsled run that you can pay and do that. Like, don't do it drunk. Don't do it drunk. Take some long underwear. You need like long johns under your pants, thermal underwear. You need some the thermal underwear in there. It's cold, you're gonna be cold. If you lose your gloves, get on the shuttles, get on the bus route, and get off at Albertsons. There's a sporting goods store there. They're probably gonna gouge you. Just you're like, you go here, you go there, and you like, you drop the gloves. I mean, everybody's been to Sundance. Everybody's seen that one glove in the mud, and you stepped on it, and you go going. And you're like, oh, thank, thank God, that's not my glove. Um, you know, I mean, girls, I don't have to tell you, you're gonna be taking extra pairs because you need one to match this jacket and these boots and I know. Okay, it's back. E Waitlist. This is the app that you have to get in order to survive Sundance. If you want to see movies, you, on any internet capable device, you can get a waitlist number. You never have to wait in the cold again. Back in the old days, you got in line and you waited. People would share, let me save your space, come back. None of this anymore. All you need is your iPhone, your internet capable device. You get this app, eWaitlist. They bring in like people from South America. They bring in so many people for the Sundance Film Festival. I don't even understand where they put everybody. <laughs> It's like this sleepy little village up in the mountains. And I don't even know how they fit everybody I'm in. Sundance, get excited because you're about to have one of the best experiences of your life. Okay, so let's talk about like parties. Let's talk about the events. All these parties, they are guest list parties. Everything at Sundance are lists and badges and lists and badges. That being said, there's still ways. Sometimes there are wristbands. The stamp transfer, you don't, you don't, you don't really want to get caught doing these kind of things, but if you know someone, who knows someone, call that person, call the person you know, call that person. Yo, get me on that list, I'm over here in Park City, you're over there in New York, Ma, you're over there in LA, get me on the list, get on the list, otherwise you're going to be like... I'm really in line with this app, and, like I didn't get into this movie. Uh, Harry O's. Harry O's is like if you can't get into a variety party, if you can't get someone who knows someone who knows someone who knows someone to get you on the list to get into like a cooler party, you could try to get into Harry O's. Like Harry O's is still like they have special event parties, and but I saw Snoop Dogg there. Like you can get if you can get into the go see go there go there go there go there um okay, so let's talk about the venues of sundance Eccles. no like you want to get like you want to see a premiere at Eccles? fuck yeah dude like seeing a premiere at Eccles is like thrilling it's so thrilling like if there's an actor you like who's in a movie there a filmmaker that you've been looking forward to their next film Get into the premiere. Giant auditorium to fit everybody who wants to come see Warner Herzog's new film, you know? <laughs> the Yaro, the Yaro's cool. Like, if you go to the, if you see a movie at the Yaro, okay, you gotta get there early and sit by the fire. Like, you never know who you're gonna meet. The Egyptian 
is best for seeing the midnight horror film. Like, they always put the best midnight horror film there. Like, I saw Saw there. The Holiday Village Cinema, one, two, three, four, five, six. Have, no, there's like three of them or something. Like, those are like decent, just decent screens. They've got good seats. And you never know, like, once I, I saw Warner Herzog having a conversation with Tobey Maguire at that theater. So, the library, the seats, like, suck, but I don't know. Like, I heard they put new seats in. Then there's the Prospector Square. This is the new theaters, the Redstone 1, 2, and 7. And then the Mark and the New Frontier. Uh, Holiday Village, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um the temple theater and then you want to you want to get acquainted with the filmmakers lounge the filmmakers lounge is on main street you want to get your little map and locate that little location yo I got a big family that I have to, you know, I have to make money for. No, I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I love, I love my work, you know, and uh, it was wonderful to have a really a small part as it was, but a wonderful part in a really, you know, terrific script. Amish Buddha Filmworks. Join me next week for a new episode of In Like Sin. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe. All the social media links are here are down below. Click subscribe. Look for a new In Like Sin every Thursday.